Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through my quarter two empties so that I can start prepping and posting my six month inventory check-in videos. So without any further ado, let's see what I used up in quarter two. Starting off with perfume, I used up three perfume samples. These were worth $7.20 each, which brings me to a total of $21.60 used up. Two of these were Queer Beluga, which I have a full size of. I absolutely adore that fragrance. It's leather, as you can guess from the name, but it's not a sweaty leather. It's like a vanilla, powdery, sweet, musky leather. It is so, so beautiful. So I have a full size of that, and when I finish the full size, I would definitely repurchase it. Um, the other fragrance that I finished up was Tobacco Honey. Now, I really like tobacco, but I'm not massively into honey scents, so that one wasn't really for me, but obviously it's just a small vial, so I got it used up. I think I've actually got another one, which I will again use up. I don't hate it enough that, you know, I would refuse to smell of it, but I personally wouldn't buy the full size. But fragrance is completely subjective, so, you know, it might be up your street. But in terms of the empties... $21.60 worth of product used up and I am very pleased with that. On to makeup, I finished seven items. First of all, I finished two primers, two sample sizes obviously, one of the Guerlain 24 Karat Gold Primer and one of the MAC Stroll Cream. The Guerlain one was worth $12.33 and the MAC one was worth $4.20. I liked both of these. I've got loads of primers so I won't be buying a primer anytime soon. But if I got more of these samples or whatever, I would happily use both of these up again. I am very pleased to say that I've used three foundations up. I know there are samples but the quantity is three and I am very, very pleased with that. One was from Estee Lauder. It was the Double Wear in the shade Alabaster. I really, really like this. I've got, had the sample obviously of Alabaster and still have a sample of shell and I feel like I need to mix the two sort of two parts alabaster to one part shell to get the right colour. I feel like on the basis of the colour I probably won't repurchase these um, or purchase full sizes because I would need to purchase both to get the right colour. But having said that I feel like any time that I've filmed wearing these foundations I have really liked how my skin has looked on camera so Never say never. The other two samples that I've used are both from Guerlain. One was the matte foundation and one was the terracotta foundation and I would definitely purchase both of those foundations 100%. The terracotta one is a bit more kind of lower coverage, more everyday summery foundation. I wasn't sure if I was mad on it at first but actually I've come to really like it. It wears really really beautifully through the day and the matte foundation is more of a full coverage going out kind of foundation which I absolutely loved. I would definitely, definitely purchase both of the Guerlain foundations. I didn't say the prices, sorry. So because these were all samples, I've actually just valued them all at $5 each. So $15 worth of foundation. And last but not least, I used up two lip balms. So one is the Fresh Advanced Sugar Lip Balm. So that was worth $12.13. I really, really enjoyed that one. The only thing I would say about these is they're quite melty. So they're a bit better if you keep them in the fridge. And the other one that I used was from Ultraviolet, and this was the SPF lip balm. This one was worth $20. Now, the only thing I would say about this, it was fine. It wasn't a shade I would have chosen. I did get it in a beauty box, um, and it was a kind of clear one with a sort of glitter almost running through it. So I would only wear it in the house because I don't think it was very flattering to wear out and about. Had this for quite a while, and I can't really complain because it was definitely expired, but I definitely felt this started to go off. So I kind of had to put a bit of an onus on using this one up. And I've definitely, I've got other ones that are older that haven't started going off. So it would just slightly put me off buying um, another one of these. I actually do have another one of these that I got in another beauty box. Um, but it's more of a peachy shade. So I've been using that one and working whatever. It doesn't make me look quite as dead as this one did. Seven makeup products used up. And they were worth a total of $63.66. Coming on to hair care, I finished seven items worth a total of $134. So first up, I finished up the Olaplex Number no. Zero, so that's the pre-wash treatment, which I really enjoyed. I would definitely purchase that one again. I finished two shampoos, the Olaplex one and the Living Proof one. The Living Proof one was fine. If I got this, was obviously like a deluxe sample size or a travel size. If I got that again, I would use it up again. But I did really enjoy the Olaplex, so I've used the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. Um, so yeah, there's there's a fair amount of Olaplex in these empties. So I tend to get an Olaplex set for Christmas most years. I'm um, actually, it's just past my birthday and I'm wishing I'd put another set 
on my birthday list because I did really really enjoy these I would like to have them again I also finished up the Davines hair oil I'm really pleased to finish this up that takes me down to only having two hair oils in my inventory and one of them's like a little travel size that I can definitely finish this year so I'm really pleased to say that I will be in a good place with hair oil very soon. This was actually, if you guys remember, in last year's project pan. I didn't quite finish it in the project pan, but I did then manage to finish it in quarter two of this year. So very pleased that this one is gone. I did really like it as a hair oil. I would definitely have it again, but I'm more excited to see the impact on my inventory for that particular category. I also finished up a little Olaplex number no. 8 moisture mask, which was fine. I would definitely have that one again. Wouldn't rush to purchase it. I do really like the shampoo, the conditioner and the pre-wash, but I find like the mask, it's, it's, there's loads of moisture masks, you know, I don't think it's doing anything more exciting than any other moisture mask would be doing. And last but certainly not least, I finished my IGK Dirty Spray, which is like a texturising spray. I haven't repurchased this because I was very interested in the Colour Wow Style on Steroids that I am being blasted with adverts for at the moment. I'm sure you're all in the same position. Um, so I have purchased that to try instead of repurchasing this exact one. But I did really like this one and I would definitely repurchase it. So in total, seven hair products worth $134. Moving on to skincare, which is always my biggest category of usage. Cleanser, I finished one cleanser worth $16. I finished the Rose Ink Skin Clarifying Toner worth $8. I finished my Kiehl's Iris Essence worth $46. I finished my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair worth $125. And the Inky List hyaluronic acid serum worth $10. So that's kind of the core skincare routine before we get on to moisturiser. The cleanser and the toner were both fine. I wouldn't rush to repurchase either of them, but if they came back into my life, I would use them again. The Kiehl's Iris Essence I've repurchased multiple times. This is probably my fifth or sixth one. I haven't directly repurchased it because as you will see when I do my inventory update for the six month mark, I actually got a really good value for money set when I was replacing my advanced night repair which I did just replace exactly with the same thing um, but Estee Lauder had a set for £110 that had the advanced night repair, the Estee Lauder essence, a moisturiser, eye cream, sheet masks and a cleanser in it for £110 which was just such good value that I decided to get the set so I've got the Estee Lauder essence to replace this one but I could definitely see myself going back to this one once I finished the Estee Lauder one. I've had the Estee Lauder one before and I think it was fine, I didn't Love it, I definitely preferred this one and I went back to this one and that's what I see happening again. But in terms of value for money, the Estee Lauder set made a lot of sense. So I've not directly replaced this, but I probably will soon enough. Have directly replaced this and I have not directly replaced this. So this is the Inculist Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It was absolutely fine, but I definitely prefer the Kiehl's Hydro Plump. So that's what I have replaced that one with, as you will see in my inventory update. So those are my first five skincare empties. I also finished up five moisturisers worth $45.90. Cosily Reservatol Lift Moisturiser worth $19.50. Biosan Squalane Gel Moisturiser worth $5.40. Pharmacy Honey Halo worth $13. The Herborian Red Pepper Pulp worth $5.34. And the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream worth $2.66. In terms of what I felt, there was none of them I really disliked, but I did really enjoy this one, the Biosan Squalane Probiotic Gel Moisturiser. I could very much see me getting a full size of this one in the future. None of the rest of them that I think I would rush to purchase a full size of though. Just to add, I think the reason I really like this one is because I'm oily and the texture is very light. So I think that's why I really enjoyed that one. Probably somebody who's drier would actually prefer the Pharmacy Honey Halo or the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Um, but for me, if you're oily, this one is the one I really enjoyed. I finished up three SPFs worth $40.76. So super good play I've had before. I've had that I think the last three years actually in the Cult Beauty SPF box and I've used it up every time and enjoyed it. So if you're interested in this, would definitely try it. Um, I don't think I'd rush to purchase it, but I do enjoy it enough that when it's been in the box, I've been quite happy to see it again. Then I finished up the Paul's Choice Ultra Light Daily. Now this was an SPF 30. I do prefer a 50, just I think from a mental point of view, I like a 50 seems like a better number. So I don't think I would repurchase that based on it being a 30. However, I did like the texture of it. This one I really like. I've had samples of this before, I think again from the Cult Beauty SPF box. So this is the Zit Sticka Mega Shade SPF 50. Again, the texture of this is so light. I really, really love this one. However, the full size of this I think is like a pipette dropper situation. 
which I'm just not particularly into. I don't like that as a packaging option generally, especially not for something as sort of liquidy and runny as this. So that really puts me off ever buying the full size, but I do really like the formula. So maybe one day I'll give in and just try it and hopefully find it's not as messy as I suspect it would be. But I do absolutely love this formula. I think, again, if you're oily and prone to breakouts, this is so, so good. The SPS were finished up in quarter two, which I'm very happy with. I finished up two eye products, so first of all the Patchology Rose Eye Patches were worth $4. I've used these sorts of things before and I'll say what I always say, I think they're really good before an event or a night out, they're not doing anything long lasting but I think you do see a sort of instant difference with them. Um, so I will probably continue to use them, continue to get them. They're definitely a special occasion one-off product rather than something that's going to do much as part of a routine. And the other product that I finished up is from Shantikites, their Stress Repair Concentrate, and this was worth $42. So obviously this was a little sample size. I didn't really enjoy this, my skin didn't seem to love it. I would kind of have to use it every second or third night and use something else in the middle. If I use this a lot of nights in a row, it would get my my eye skin would get quite kind of tender. This one's definitely not for me in my sensitive reactive skin, but but because it was worth $42 and it was so small, I just decided to persevere and get it used up. So two eye products worth $46 altogether. I am very pleased to say that I used up five face masks in quarter two. Face masks are one of my biggest categories, so I was really pleased to get a bit of a dent into this. I used up the Origins Original Skin Mask. That's like a retexturizing clay mask, so... Um, again, good if you're oily like me. I have a full size of that and I will definitely enjoy using that one up as well. I love this, the Sizzly Black Rose Mask. It's so expensive. This was worth $180 on its own, but it is really, really good. There's no two ways about it. Although it's kind of sold as a sort of anti-aging, so if you look at the, the packaging here, it says smoothing, plumping, brightening. There's definitely some kind of reparative element to it because where I find this is really good is if I've got a breakout. Um, if I use this, it definitely heals up more quickly and doesn't leave any marks or anything. So I really, really enjoy this. It's so expensive, um, but I do think it's excellent. I used up the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Mask. Again, this is a kind of clay-based mask. I should have put that next to this one because they're both clay masks. Out of the two, I would purchase the Origins one over the Kiehl's one. Um, but the clay mask that I like most of all is actually the Kiehl's rare earth one. I find that really good for like really brightening the skin and like taking the excess oil out but not drying it out at all. So out of all of my masks that's actually the one I would repurchase but out of these two I would pick this one over that one. I find this one a little bit less drying than I found this one. Then I use the fresh black tea mask which I really enjoyed. I have I generally do really enjoy fresh products. I do think they're quite expensive but I do tend to get along with them so I was pleased to use that up and if I got another sample size of that I would definitely use it up again. And then last but not least I used up the Dr. Jart C Superc which actually left my skin quite red although it's supposed to be kind of soothing and repairing. I don't think it really agreed with my skin all that much. I would have to be quite kind of inconsistent with using it. It was something I would use sort of once a fortnight or whatever just to get it used up so I don't think I would repurchase that one, but I am very pleased to have used them all up. So in total, those five face masks were worth $222.50. Obviously, a large chunk of that comes from the Sizzly one being worth $180, but either way, that is a very good reduction to be able to say that I have made in my skincare inventory for the face mask category, so I'm very pleased with it. As well as the five face masks, I used up one sheet mask. This one was worth $5, it was from Soap and Glory. I got it in a Christmas set and yeah, exactly as I said about the eye patches, as a one-off before an event or something, you definitely do see a difference with these. I don't think it makes any lasting difference to the skin, but for a one-off treatment before a night out or something, I do really enjoy a sheet mask. So I would quite happily use this one up again. Moving on to body products. Again, these were both from that same Soap and Glory Christmas set as the sheet mask was. And I used up the body wash, which was worth $10 and the body scrub which was worth $7.60. I did enjoy the body wash, I would happily use that one up again. The scrub wasn't really scrubby enough for me, it was kind of one of those ones that had slight scrub particles but in a very thick base, um, so I didn't really find that as exfoliating as I personally do enjoy. But as I say, they were both limited edition so I don't think you can get them anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I thought of them at this point, does it? On to body moisturiser, I used up again the Soap and Glory one from that same Christmas set. 
that one was worth $8.90 and then I used up two from Lush, one sleepy one and one once upon a time one. These were both worth $15 each so in total that's $38.90 of body lotion used up which I'm very pleased with. These were all fine, I don't think I'd rush to repurchase any of them but again if there was like Christmas sets next year or whatever like both the Lush ones came in Christmas sets as well um, and yeah if I got them again in sets or whatever I'd happily use them all up again. I don't think I would go and actually aim to purchase any of them though individually like there's just other body lotions that I personally like better but if you're really keen to try any of these I wouldn't put you off them. They're they're fine. On to hand and body I used up this Eli Brouquet hand cream. This was worth $12. Again it was fine. Nothing to write home about. I got it in a Liberty Beauty box. I wouldn't rush to purchase a full size or anything but it was fine. Um, the other one that I will repurchase, and if you've watched my videos before, you will have undoubtedly heard me going on about these, the Patchology or any equivalent brand, to be honest, foot peels. I just think these are phenomenal. If you've got, like, hard skin or, like, it doesn't even really need to be, like, particularly hard skin. Just, I, I think if you're somebody who walks at all, you know, your feet can benefit from a really intense peel. Sort of once a quarter is ideal, and, yeah, they just, it leaves you with baby soft, like, new feet, basically, so... I absolutely adore these peels and have gone through many and will continue to go through many more. Um, so this one was worth $20 and the hand cream I think I said was worth $12. So that was my hand and foot products that I used up during quarter two. And last but not least I used up five sashi samples which I count as being worth $1 each. As I always say there's not that much you can say from a sashi sample, it's like a one use thing. I wasn't allergic to any of them and I think that's about as much as you can guess from a sashi. But yeah. Five more dollars towards my reverse rouge total, five more items towards my quantity goal, so very pleased to have used them all. So in total for skincare I used 33 items worth $658.66, so I'm very very pleased with that. In total for quarter two I have used up $877.92 worth of product and that has been across 50 items. So that is everything for this video, I'm really pleased with that and I will be posting my individual inventory updates so I will go through skincare, hair care, makeup and perfume looking at what I've also added in and decluttered to give you the full quarter two updates in those videos. So thank you so much for watching this one, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!